Hi, I am Crazy on Two Wheels, and I am once again, uh, once again, at Ramemoto to test drive the Kawasaki Z 900s. <laughs> So once again, Ramemoto is lending me this for the weekends. And what a beast this is. Looking at it sideways, look at the, that front. It looks, it's hunched over. <laughs> it looks like a rider hunched over. <laughs> looks awesome. You gotta say, Kawasaki does sure know how to make aggressive looking bikes. Look at that thing, awesome. So, weather isn't that nice, it's been raining, so let's see how this goes. But let's do the classic front to back. We got a ABS, which is normal for all new bikes, remember? Um, 160, one, what, huh? 110 at the front, 180 probably at the rear. Tires, size, tires. Yeah, 180 at the rear. Dual disc brakes as is normal, rear brake is normal. This is a four cylinder 900cc, 100 and something horsepower. So, this is kind of like the MT09, only four cylinder in terms of power and uh, displacement. Got these front headlamps are really cool. I don't know what these shades here are, but I guess it's so it doesn't actually uh, dazzle cars. This looks a bit odd. But I guess it works, so they know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, I guess it works, they know what, what they're doing. This bike looks... This front actually reminds me of the Honda DN01, this part, but on a smaller scale. Okay, everything's halogen, there are no LEDs here. Maybe the these may, may, might be LEDs, but I kind of doubt that. Adjustable brake, adjustable clutch. The classic weird looking exhaust from Kawasaki. Okay. Someone's been having fun on this. No chicken strips at all. Which is surprising considering this is a test drive machine. Probably Ruben did this. <laughs> this is a nice looking bike. This is a really nice looking bike. Now one detail I also this is also on the Z650 and I forgot to mention. It's got a slipper clutch and it's also mechanically assisted, so it's very, very light. Look, can I do it with my little finger? I can, look. I am pulling the clutch with my little finger. Let's try not to make, to break this one, shall we? Oh, this is... Ah, uh, no, I don't know. This is just rubber pretending to be carbon fiber. Wouldn't make much sense getting carbon fiber there. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. So, first things first, turn her on, let's film it, and hear the roar. Nice! Ninguém viu nada! Ninguém viu nada, não aconteceu nada! Foi de propósito! <laughs> that was so embarrassing! Yeah. No, no, <laughs> I'm never leaving this down! <laughs> I just touched the pedal slightly and then engaged! <laughs> Oh god, that was so embarrassing. And that guy, that's the owner. <laughs> oh god. That was actually an, uh, an accident because I just put my foot on the, the on the peg and I bumped the the pedal. This guy has his brand new Z650. Ninja 650 and he is very happy with it. Oh, this is nice. It's a bit, it feels large, but it doesn't feel heavy. No, actually, it feels heavy, but the front is very light. I feel the weight, but this is relatively easy at low speeds. Let's see how that goes. 
I can't believe I just did that on front of him. <laughs> Good lord. Let's go. Wow, this clutch is super smooth. Whoa, ho, ho. that's some speed and some roar. Oh, I'm gonna have some fun on this one. Oh, I am going to have some bleeding fun on this one. Whoops, pavement here is nearly dead. Feels nice also cornering. Oh, this feels, this, this. I can feel it's got a huge engine. Four cylinder 900 cc is pretty big and it feels big. The, the tank is very wide and it's got this these two fangs on the sides so it has a, a very big bike feel but it, it it's still the steering is light it's odd because the steering is very light but leaning is a bit heavy because of all the mass that I'm throwing around so it's not bad it's just that it's well different you know what this is this is the test track. <laughs> I have been riding this for a while. I had to get here after all. And my, this engine is exciting. I hope the angle is nice. It's not too high, not too low. I hope. Let's see if I can adjust it slightly. Yeah, this is how I'm going to ride, so this ought to be nice. Let's see now. While we wait behind these cars, let's start with the bad. Bad things about this bike so far. Well, the indicators are a bit floppy. Wang, 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 wang. Okay. Then again, who doesn't change the indicators? Especially since these aren't that pretty. These are simple halogen indicators. Uh, more. This button still has that weird look I don't like from the Z650 in that the button seems to have sunk into the plastic. So that's, a, that's an ugly look. The whole bike looks awesome and this just looks, well, utilitarian. Hasn't, doesn't have the look like the bike. For example, this fuel, this brake fluid uh, tank is beautifully machined. It's very detailed. It's got a weird shape. It's very in line with the rest of the bike. And then this is not. But on this bike, does that matter? Nope. <laughs> that is something that does not matter one iota. You can hear from my voice that I quite like this bike. Because I, I do. I quite like this bike. Want to know why? Because of this. Look. It's something kind of like this. I had to contain myself to keep quiet so you guys would hear the engine but man the thing goes like a rocket and it's never scary it's not the jerkiness or the instant oomph out of the MT-09 which is also a lot of fun but this is more it's a four cylinder after all but this is more like you've just lit a rocket under you and so it just keeps pushing and pushing and pushing and the faster it goes the more it pushes you it's a four-cylinder. It's a four-cylinder with a high top end. So it's got that four-cylinder high top end feeling. But since it's a liter engine, it does have grunt at low revs, so you can go from 2000 RPM instantly. Also, one thing, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on or not. Depends on how the rest of the video went. But this bike really likes going slow. It doesn't complain when you're going at pedestrian speeds, when you're going at traffic speeds, 40, 30 kph, you just go in whatever gear you're in and it goes perfectly well. And now it's time to shut up because it's time for the test track. Ass back in 3, 2, 1, GO! Holy crap! Holy crow! That's fast! And it just gives you so much confidence. And it's so stable. I like this. It's one of those that's with one input, 
one bend. And just look how fast I can go with it. <laughs> that was fun. When you brake hard, the rear goes light and it goes all wobbly. Right, left, right, left, but it's not too much. It's just the bike is playing with you, going, okay, yeah, let's play. Left or right? Where do you want to go? I really ought to have a camera on the tank to get the to get these wobbles on camera. Look at me full throttling out! Oh, I break too much there. This bend is very tight, treated with respect. And brake, me out. Man, this bike is a huge load of fun. I usually end it here, but I'm just gonna turn right around and do this the whole way down. I don't really want this ride to end. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, lady. That was a power wheelie. <laughs> oh, man. And I only felt the power wheelie when it landed. That was awesome. Hey, look, little, a guy in a scooter having his fun. <laughs> oh, what an awesome bike. It's not just the engine. The engine's awesome, yeah. The engine is absolutely fantastic. But it's not that. It's just that it's so controllable. I was going retardedly fast, but I know, I feel what I'm doing. It's not scaring me. It's not trying to give me a heart attack. It's just smooth. It's easy, it's very easy. No, from a complete newbie, it's not an easy bike to ride because, well, it is a heavy bike, okay? It is a bit top heavy. There's a lot of weight in the front. So it's not a very easy for a complete beginner and you have a lot of power, so you do need a bit of um, discipline. But once you're already, you already know what you're doing, this is a great bike. But then it doesn't intimidate. It's not deadly like the MT-09s and Tracers and whatnot. That was another power wheelie going downhill. <laughs> again? Again? No, not quite. Jesus, this goes like a maniac! Oh, frack. <sighs> this would have been a great overtake, but. Oh, come on, not on this band. Don't do this to me. This was an awesome band. I love it. If there is a heaven, I sure hope it's like this. Nice weather, nice temperature, nice road, an awesome bike. The slippy clutch aids downshifting a ton. It's just so smooth. I wasn't expecting this bike to be this refined. Yeah, that's, that's the term. This is a very refined bike. Usually Honda does refined bikes and Kawasaki does raw, insane, violent bikes. No, this one's actually, it's still quite insane and violent, but it's very refined, very smooth. I know everything that's happening. It's, this is not a Widowmaker. This is an, actually f an actual fun bike. This is a very, very fun bike. And I'm only going to stop now because I have to do the Portuguese video. So woe is me, I have to do that all over again. <sighs> it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Didn't I say I did not want this to end? 
I do not. Not on this one, so I'm going to go slow here, get those cars, get space from the car in front, because I really want to tear it on the way up. In three, two, one, go. Break, 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 break. Knee out and bend, bend, bend. Again, again. More! I want more! I want more, 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 more. Please don't let this road ever end. Don't let fuel ever end. And don't let the grip ever end. Am I already caught up with these guys? Oh, come on. Nah, too dangerous. This time it is too dangerous. <laughs> Come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> it's just so smooth on acceleration. I know I can roll throttle mid-corner and nothing will happen because I am in control. It's never going to surprise me. It's never going to let me down. <laughs> I'm going nuts. I am seriously going nuts on this bike. I am. Woo! Holy moly. Lovely. Oh, lovely! I thought I was in second gear for quick acceleration. I wasn't, I was in fourth gear. And so that was just slightly not as quick. Woo! <laughs> I love it. Oh man, this is such a nice one. Such, such, such a nice one. Seriously. I wouldn't get one because I can't have a naked bike due to travels, work. I need a top case and this rear end is too thin to properly get a, a top case without it looking absolutely ridiculous but man this is a nice bike I just hope the camera angle isn't too high now I hope that I just seriously hope the filming no I hope the filming went all botched and I wasn't filming so I have to do it all over again <laughs> now uh, to be a bit more truthful I did test this MT-09 when I had very little experience, so I would really like to try out the competition to this, which is the MT-09 nowadays with a bit more experience when I think I can handle its power again. I couldn't quite handle the MT-10. The MT-10 was just also too powerful for me. And that's what I like about this one. It is very powerful, but it's still manageable by a, a mid-skilled rider like me. For a noob this is too much, but for someone who already, who can tame easily a 600cc bike and for, for whom a 600cc bike is just very exciting but fine, okay, it's not scary anymore, this is one that's still not scary and on which you can have a, a ton of fun and you'll be safe because the bike has a bigger limit than you do, so it, it's awesome, that's why I love it so much, it's still, uh, this is at the top end of my skill range at the very top end of my skill range so yeah this would let me grow quite a lot and crash quite a lot because yeah one day i would just be going too fast which is a thing you know there is such a thing as going too fast <laughs> it doesn't quite like these bad pavements though which is normal since this is a sporty suspension holy f uh, guacamole i am doing a very strong efforts to stop swearing on the videos but it's hard as hard as this seat yeah the seat isn't also all also isn't the most comfortable it can be but Whew. I don't want to end this I might go up to the Cape and back why not <laughs> why the hell not indeed yeah let's let's just go don't care 
But this time I'll do it for the Portuguese video. Sorry Brits, you can go see the Portuguese video if you want to see the ride to go up here. I'll just talk about it before I start the proper climb. I mentioned that it's really nice to ride in traffic. Look, 6th six, gear, 50 kph, doesn't complain at all. It's just go, don't worry. It's a very relaxed bike if it wants to. That's why I say it's so refined because look, I'm going at 50 kph at in 6th gear and I can still overtake cars relatively easily, not needing to downshift and I can go and just enjoy the scenery. And usually these big, big bikes at, at these speeds, they are a bit jerky, they're hard to ride. The Aprilia is impossible to go in 6th gear at, 60, at 50 kph, you'd be in 3rd. And it would be very jerky, like... And I'd be on this corner and accelerate a bit and the rear would step out. So, that's why I like this one quite a lot. Oh, lots of traffic. And now I'm returning. I love this bike, you guys know I love this bike. I'm just going to... I don't want to get off it, <laughs> basically. This is this turned from a test drive into a ride. <laughs> I don't know what to say more about it. I really don't. All I can say is that I like it quite a lot. The seat is hard. One hour on the saddle and my bum is hurting. I do have a sensitive ass. So most riders won't feel this, but if the seat is not very comfortable, I start aching at about one hour in. And it's not very tall for 1.74 meters, so. And so, yeah, I don't know if I ever, if I did, got to do this, but well, that's basically it. This is the Z900s. I wholeheartedly advise you guys to go try one out if possible. Seriously, test one, try not to die in it. <laughs> it is controllable, but it is a liter bike, so uh, it's still quite fast and so it quite quickly can go from great to horrible, uh, or from tarmac to sky. So please do be careful when you try one out, like don't do what I just tried to do, which would end badly. That's why it has ABS. Um, and yeah, test it out. This is this is a, an awesome, awesome machine. It's a very, very. This is a very well placed, well, well created product, Kawasaki. Congratulations. I was a bit miffed at Kawasaki because it, Honda keeps on churning out machines and usually groundbreaking machines, like the NC700 or the 750, and then the 500 series. And then the, the new Africa Twin, the new Cross Runners, the new Cross Tourers, and it's just doing, it's just annoyingly go, boom, new bike, awesome bike, boom, new bike, awesome bike. And then Yamaha, a bit later, started doing also that, going, every bike was a new groundbreaking bike, the MTs, the NMAX, loads of them were just absolutely fantastic bikes, all of them, great bikes, all in all. And Kawasaki, nope nothing we don't need to do to shoot out new bikes no need and then they put out the Vulcan awesome awesome bike and unique in its class and then they put out the Z650 you saw how I like that one and now this one <laughs> you took quite a while Kawasaki but it was well worth the wait because you did create a few fantastic machines old town kinda no it's not quite old town this is Look, no feet, <laughs> so easy, so easy. Look at how easy it is to ride this one at 10 kph. It's one of the things I actually love about it. It's a sport, high-end, super fast bike that you can actually take and ride in the city with no clumsiness. I'm in first gear, look how smooth I can be on the throttle in first gear. Come on, V V40. Uh, nah, never mind. Sorry, I thought this was two lanes. This is not so. Uh, I take back, back. Take that back. Look how smooth I can be at these low speeds. Doing 30 kph, not miles. Okay, so yeah, that's it. This is Sintra, and this was the Kawasaki Z Awesome Hundred. That's it. Gauge you're out.
Ready? Ready? Ass back and go! This is insanely fast! <laughs> Super smooth this bike is! Amazing! It accelerates like a maniac but you always feel in control. It's awesome. It just keeps on pushing and pushing and pushing. 